Hi, in this video I would like to show you how you can generate Word or PDF documents using Webflow app and Documentary platform. So let's get started. So here I have like a sample website with some navigation bar and header. And here I have I want to add the container with the form that can generate documents and users can download it right away. So to do that, uh, I will start with adding the container to my page. And here you need to install Documentero uh, Webflow web app. And here I will launch it. And as you can see, when I when I point the block element like container or table saw, uh, it asks me to provide a shared form URL. So before we, we, we have a shared form that can generate documents, we need to create a document template and share it with others. To do that, you need to go to Documentary application. I already prepared account for it. So here uh, in the Documentero app, uh, once you sign uh, sign up, there is a document templates page. And here is, a, here is a list of all document templates that I uploaded to the platform. There are two ways of adding the document templates. One is online um, by with the online editor. And second is uploading uh, the document template file in the docx format from your uh, hard drive. So for now, we'll pick the simpler option, which is uh, online document template creation. Okay, here I have like a sample document. Just to keep it simple and quick, I will remove all this stuff here. Uh, as you can see, here is a document template with four fields um, that I want to dynamically map onto the document when, I, when it's generated. So for now, that's all I need to do here. I will create a sample document template. Yeah, after a few seconds, the document template should be created. I can go to the template overview and I can see all the detected fields. I can change the output format. I will pick PDF format here. And I can click and generate here and I can generate using form. So as you can see, when I put some data, I can really quickly generate a PDF document uh, with the data provided in the form. Here I have a PDF document with the data provided. Okay, cool. So uh, going back to the platform, what I can do as well is I can configure this form. So uh, for example, I can change country field uh, to be a drop down that holds like four options or three options, let's say. Uh, I can decide that uh, the name field will be longer, uh, etc. So here I can like customize my form and representation of each field. Uh, there are more options, but we won't cover it right now. Uh, I will save it. And here, what what we'll try to do next, we will try to embed this document generation form into our Webflow app. So to do that, I will go back to my documents list. I will go to sample document. And here you can see uh, the button add share form. And here I will put like sample document chart. I can pick the form language. We'll keep English for now. And after a second, there, there is a public link generated to, to, to this form. So if I click this, uh, there is a public form that will allow me to generate the document uh, and send it to my email if I configure to do so. So let's go back to the platform. Let's click on the shared form. And here is a configuration. So I can put some uh, messages before, after submission, during the confirmation. Uh, I can change the form language. But the most important part is here after the submission. So here I decide what happens after the form is submitted. So uh, the first thing I can define the email that uh, I can define up to five emails that the document is sent to after the form submission. And I can also decide that 
I want to allow user to download generated document right from my website. I, there is some more options like, for example, you can send the um, confirmation to the submitter, but we will skip this part for now. So here I will save my options. Uh, and as you can see, there is a public link here. So I will copy this and I will go back to Webflow app. And here in my empty container, um, combined with the documenter application that I launched from here, I can add copy paste the link here and I can click add to page. And after a few seconds, uh, the form should appear on my on my Webflow page. I can customize it a little bit. So for example, uh, I can make a transparent background and I can disable the rounded corners here uh, to make it much better with the rest of the site. Okay, so here we, here we go. I think everything is ready. I can obviously click on the container and adjust the height of it if it's needed, because sometimes there is more fields and we need to adjust it. But here I can go to the preview mode and I can test out my flow. So I will again create another document. This time we'll pick France and city Paris. It should be 46 and I will submit this form. And after a few seconds, uh, I should be able to download generated document let's check it out cool we have the document ready uh, user can download the document directly from our webflow site plus additionally i should receive an email with all the data provided in the form and document attached here as attachment to the email and that's how the flow looks and works so I hope it's helpful and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you and take care.